Okay, let's see, where's mine? Record. Hello, everybody. Oh, God. It's so good to see you guys. Diane, I haven't seen you in forever. Hey, Diane. Hello, hey, Tony. I don't know if she hears this. Hey, Cassandra, <laughs> Betty. Diane. You guys are all <laughs> chicken tonight. <laughs> I know. I'm behind my picture. Nothing that I'm on here with like no eyes. This is how I've looked all day. Haven't told a soul that I sell Mary Kay today. Cause see, see how it is. If you don't feel confident, I just, I just didn't. But I got my lipstick on and a little mascara. Hey. So that changes everything. It right? Works. It works. It works. So so glad to see you guys. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Who 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 baked turkeys? Teresa did. Diane, were you the cook? Diane. Diane, can you hear us? I don't think she hears us. Okay. Anybody else? Everybody's muted or can't hear us. So Teresa, let's just have a chat. <laughs> Cassandra Cook. Yay. Good. And um, I, I couldn't cook because we're in the middle of this big remodel and repainting our whole first floor and my kitchen cabinets. And so anything that I would have cooked that week would have tasted like paint. <laughs> <laughs> it really happened. It takes, I know it's gross. So I, I bought a Costco apple pie and took it, but Hey, it, it was okay. It was fine. So, Hey, um, uh, let's go ahead and start, um, with a little prayer and then we'll jump right in. Okay. Okay. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful. We just came off of a weekend where gratitude was the main thing and, uh, help us just remember every day of the year to be grateful for our blessings, blessings like our family and our loved ones and our, our, our friendships here, our business and help us uh, remember to honor you and all we do that we're grateful for our company and these great products and the opportunity to uh, be our best and be good stewards of that success. So be with all of those who aren't with us tonight and uh, take us into the rest of the week um, loved and blessed and knowing you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Here we go. That was fast. Okay, I'm done. Teresa, take it over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I, uh, I feel like I've been in Christmas mode. I told somebody the other day, Christmas is over. I'm done. I've been in Christmas mode since October and it's like, okay, the house has been decorated for weeks and everything, but no, I, I just, I'm looking forward to December and finishing up my holiday sales because it ain't over. People are shopping. Oh my gosh. And so they need us. They need to hear from us. So Susan and I were talking about, okay, so you've held your open house or not. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay, but there's still, you can still be selling. And, you know, we're coming up on the 1st of December. Uh, Christmas is just a little over three weeks away and they need your help. Okay. They need your help. So what are some of the things, and we're, we'd love to hear from you guys too. What are you doing? to kind of beef up your uh, holiday sales for these next three weeks while you still have time to enjoy the holidays. Because I think that's really important is to, you know, set that timer, decide when you're working, decide when you're not working, decide when you're going to whatever activities. I mean, now's the time to really plan these next three weeks out and have a strategy so that you're having fun and you're relaxed and enjoying that too. One of the things that I saw someplace today, which I thought was kind of fun, because honestly, I didn't get into the Pink Friday, Cyber Monday kind of thing. I only because I, well, I just had so many Christmas sales. I've already sold a lot and had a lot of clients come by and people coming by afterwards that I almost feel guilty putting some kind of a special sale out there after people just got spending three and four and five hundred dollars with me, you know, and, and I and I always kind of have that. I know the department's I'm the things. same. I can't do a pink Friday sale after I just had because people go, well, thanks a lot. Yeah, exactly. I would. I'd be mad. I would too. So, but there are some fun things that we can do in the next few weeks to have sales, to kind of spark some extra interest and to remind people that, you know, you are running a small business and to the ways that they can support you. One of the things I thought was just to have a stocking stuffer sale. And I thought that was really just a kind of a cute thing. I don't know exactly when I would do it, maybe next week. And I might not take any of the things that I've got already wrapped that I sold, but maybe some things that I just want to clear off my shelf. I've got, um, 
quite a few of the extra under eye puffiness reducers. I've got a few things that I'm just a little overstocked in that might be fun, not to even wrap them, but just to come on and have a little virtual video and have a, and have a stocking, have some music playing, have a cup of cocoa and just show some great ideas for things that people could stick in stockings. In stocking. So that's one of the ideas that I, I love would, that idea. That really something simple. And that's what people are looking for right now. Anyways, they, they probably have made some of the bigger purchases or they kind of know what that's going to be, but they're still looking for little goodies and stocking stuffers and stuff for their kids and their family or next door neighbors. So you like that? I thought that was fun. I love that idea. I'm taking notes here. What I don't know if anybody else is like me, but this is the time of year where my daughter's my daughter swears I have ADD. Okay. And maybe I do. Maybe that's just another way of saying I am overcommitted and multitasking too much and I can't keep everything straight. Like all that all that has to happen in this next few weeks. So I dump my brain on paper. I just did it tonight. Reggie laughed at me because I usually grab the back of an envelope or whatever I can find. He goes, I've tried to give you notepads, but I just work best grabbing a napkin off the counter and making my checklist, whatever it is. So dumping my brain on paper. And if you do that, as we know, the six most important things to do list in a sense is dumping your brain on paper, right? For the next day and make sure something on that list has, um, is, it has to do with Mary Kay and holiday sales and reaching out to clients. Hey, you know, just your, even if it's just your normal reaching out, but who, who can I help you with on your, on your Christmas list? Is there one person on your list that I could, um, help, help you find a gift for? Remember it's if every customer you had bought one thing for Christmas took care of one person, you'd have an amazing Christmas holiday in, as far as sales go. So um, I was going to do that. And I had written a little note here. We should do little short video clips. And then Teresa came on with that. So that's a great idea. Come with your little jingle bells, put on your Santa hat and just do a short little clip. You can do one every few days. I mean, who cares? You yeah, know, yeah, exactly. and I like that idea. Like I would probably, for me, I would probably start with what's left in my basket, but maybe another, I like the stocking stuff for sale. Hey, these are a few things I've I'm a little heavy on on my shelves. And so I don't have to count it at year end inventory and whatever inventory reduction sale of stocking yeah. stuffers. I yeah. like that. 20% off. It doesn't have to be a big old deal, but just really fun ideas. And, and I agree, Susan, that's one of the things that I have on my list is just have another little video. So it might be every three or four or five days, or maybe once a week, you know, for the next three weeks, one day is just picking up the basket and the things that I've left in the basket and doing a quick little video there. And the next week it might be stocking stuff for sale. And the next week it might be, you know, appealing to the guys or something, you know, tell your Santa Claus if he hasn't done the shopping to make sure to get in touch with me. So what can we call it? It would be, you know, something about the, you know, the, the panic of the, of the men, you know, like, but, but we got somebody, somebody come up with a cute name for that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get the left, the right brain working on that, but it would be something really funny. Cause I always talk about turning the hubbies and heroes and, you know, all, all the men into heroes. And it's like, it could be, okay, guys, don't tell me you're done shopping. Cause you're lying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and let me show you how I can turn you into a hero this year. And, and just a few fun little things and Hey, make sure you reach out. I deliver into, I take credit card and I deliver and wrap. That's all it takes. So call in the hubbies and, but making a little video, just, just mainly for the guys say, okay, guys, I, I know you're not done. I know you're not done. And just make, make it be fun. I'd like to do that. Honestly, on my personal page, would that be a no, no, let me ask you about that. Because is it okay to make your little clip? If, if in that clip, you're saying, Hey, if you've got a Mary Kay girl, please call her. You know, I'm going to show you a few things that I have for my customers, but if you've got a Mary Kay girl, make sure you're reaching out to her and telling her you want, you know, hand cream or this, that, or that. Is that okay? What do y'all think? I think it's okay. As long as you don't overdo it, you know, right. like, that's the thing, as long as you don't. If it's even it. one of them is public and the rest are, you know, Hey, if, 
hop on over to my private page if you're one of my clients. I'll be having a video every week. Exactly. You know, exactly. Or something like remind that. Them, remind them of that. And then they need to know that you're a Mary Kay chick during the holidays. I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with putting that on your personal page. I think, you know, I always love what Linda said uh, about the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your personal profile should be your personal life. It should be not reposting everybody else's funny little posts. It should be you. It should be your family. It should be the things you love or a, a, what you're doing today or just a thought. I think that is engaging to people that will want to be on your page. And then 20% can be your Mary Kay business because it is your Mary Kay business and that is a part of your life. And so I think that, you know, following that rule, but yes, yeah, Suze, as long as you just make sure that you say, if you have a Mary Kay girl, make sure to reach out to her and, and yes. there you go. And this is, this is for my friends and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I think I did that last year and I got, you know, you'll get some requests to join your private group from people. You know, sometimes not every one of my customers is on my private group either. You know, you right. got to invite them and sometimes they don't respond. So it might even be a way to kind of clean that up. Hey, make sure you're over here. This is where all the good stuff's Start happening. Yeah. Good idea. It's on my private page. So that. That would be really fun. Super cute. Um, one, one thing I'll share with you, I had a client who, I'm, I'm getting a lot of personal website orders just for, not even for gifts necessarily. That it seems like they buy more for themselves, which is, is fine. Make sure you're calling hubbies. We know that. But this client today, she placed a $72 order. It was three hand creams and a satin handset. And I'm like, well, okay. So I texted her and I said, I, I got, thank you for the online order. Did you see how I'm wrapping these this year? And I sent her the pictures of them. And I basically said for $15 extra, you'll get three pairs of gloves and the satin handset in this cute little canister. And she responded, like, she goes, oh my gosh, absolutely do that. So it's like, she wasn't really paying attention to the fact that hello, you've been my client for 15 years. Did you not know that I do this every Christmas? But she somehow missed that. So just by having a picture of those things, of the lovely hands and how I package a set in it, I mean, it added $15. It's not like I make a lot or really much of anything on the gloves and the packaging, but it's just reminded her that, you know, I can make your life and easier. So next year she'll remember, mm -hmm. hopefully, if she's purchased. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, well, that's what they're ordering. And yeah, somebody the other day said, I need a satin lip set and I need a bar, a skincare bar and something else and something else. She said, and I said, are these for gifts? Because again, you know, when somebody is ordering, ask them if they're, if they're so it reminds them about your gift giving service. And then it, you can always personalize the gift. So I think that's real important. Another thing is just stop and shop. So every time somebody does place an order with you, I think this is the season to try to get out if you can and personally deliver if they're local and say, hey, you know, uh, have you checked out some of my Christmas gift ideas? Would you like me to bring my basket with me so you can, we can do a little stop and shop while you're there? I'll bring you your products and then you can see what's in there. And almost without a fail, they will say, oh, absolutely. They love looking at it. And boy, when they see stuff in person. So make sure that you got a basket full of wrapped gifts it could be one of everything or it could be multitudes or things left over from your open house but make sure you've got a basket that's full of gifts and that you are carrying it everywhere and that when you are talking to a customer you know you are gently reminding them and just offering them an opportunity for a stop and shop I just posted something on my group page said you know, December, this is not uh, Cyber Monday or Pink Friday, but, but it's Tuesday and Christmas is coming. And, you know, I have <laughs> gifts left over. Would you oh, like I'll be stealing that? I better get on over your page. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and a cute picture of you with a basket. And that one happens to be like four years old. <laughs> oh, I bet I know what picture it is. It's so that's cute. You're going, I that's that's a different. We get so caught that's up. my Santa hat picture with my curly hair and people are like, you just never age. And I'm like, because I never post a current picture. That's why. <laughs> exactly. That's because that picture is five years old. <laughs> oh, heck. Oh. I mean, okay. okay. Who else? Anybody else have some tips? Teresa, you got some more? 
I've got a couple, you know, and you mentioned it earlier, but this is the season to call your clients. I mean, call and love on them. So the ones that you haven't seen or sold anything to and haven't had an opportunity to do that, reach out to them in the next week and just say, hey, the new year's coming and holidays are here. I'm just uh, reaching out to my customers and just want to appreciate you for supporting my small business all year long and for being my girlfriend, for being a friend who became a client or a client who became a friend, but just, I think, remind them how much you care for them and how important they are to you in your life. I think just that that phone call, whether you leave a message or not, um, I think that just a personal phone call, quick little phone call to people makes all the difference in the world. I ordered something from for Bob for something that it's kind of a, well, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> okay, so it's CBD oil that's made in Kentucky and um, it really helps his knees. And so he takes it every night and it really helps. He's got knee, knee issues and he has noticed a big difference in, since taking it. And I told him the other day I had to reorder and uh, they had a special and I got a couple good deal and I got two of them and every time I get an order I get a personal note I mean it's messy it you can tell he's written it very quickly the guy that owns the company he's got like from Jim and team you know thank you for your business we appreciate thank you for your continued business we appreciate you all year long and those little things those little things that are just the extra and then some I, I, I'm like I had to tell Bob I said, I think it's so sweet that he puts a personal note in there and it's sloppy and it's messy and it's handwritten and it's cool as hell. So there you go. I just think that's important. So there you go. Cool as what? Cool as heck. <laughs> you know, it does mean a lot that the written word and we, we've told, we hide behind our text. Um, I have a generic message that prints out on every invoice in it, but I do try to put just even a little heart, love ya or appreciate you or something like that. And it, I, it does make a difference, you know, and when you make those deliveries, when, when you can catch a customer at home, it doesn't it do your heart good. And they come out, Oh, you know, they come give you a hug and Oh, you, I can't believe you got this to me so fast. And you're the best Mary Kay consultant on the world, on the planet. And you're just like, gosh, all I'm doing is what Mary Kay taught me to do is provide good service. And sadly, as we've talked about before, you just have to do a little bit more than the average person to be the greatest Mary Kay person in the world. You know what I mean? So when you really go out of your way and do so, they, they, they just can't get over it. It's, it's just, a, it's a, becoming a lost art, sadly, but we are the artists and we will <laughs> continue to do that. So, um, Anybody else have anything that you're doing? What are you doing to generate some business these next three weeks? They're muted. Dun, dun, dun. They're muted. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, this ought to give you some just some some good ideas to 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 go into the next next week for sure. I'd I'd just like to challenge you guys to make a video or you know, do, do one of these things that we talked about tonight and report back to us next week, because it, it's really a great season. I, I, I've got a group of husbands that have just kind of become my regulars every Christmas and it's time to, to reach out, you know, they're not done. And that's funny. I'm like, Hey, it's Susan, you know, it's a little Mary Kay elf and uh, just helping you uh, with your Christmas shopping. I know you haven't even started. And they're like, Nope, I haven't. Or you know, the pillow gift or gift cards are always so easy. So um, don't forget those guys. That's the guys. They need you. They do. They do. Well, thanks for being on with us tonight. The next time we see you guys, it will be December. And My anniversary with Reggie is the first. 23 years. Wow. How many years you been married? 37. 37. Wow. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh. 23. I, I can, so I've known the guy for 26 years. He's put up with me. Holy cow. And if we survive this remodel, it'll be a miracle. You should see how we're living. I should take a picture of how I have a closet now. How I can even find anything to wear is amazing. Oh, remember this, Teresa? Oh, I do. Yeah. 
Um, one whole bed, two whole bedrooms are just, there's clothes everywhere. It's like the closet literally threw up in there and we won't have closets until the 19th of December. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to get ugly before it gets pretty. That's for sure. No, it anyway, just we love you. I'm going to say hi to Nora. She's, uh, uh, I forget what she's got going on tonight. Something at church and music. This is the season. She being a professional oboist. So, um, hey to Nora. I know she's going to watch this later. Hey to everybody who watches this later. And uh, we appreciate you. To come on and do uh, the get bells. your orders in. What's that? We need Nora to do the bells for us some night. She was going to do that. That's right. She hasn't ever played the oboe for us either. We need a little. You know, wouldn't that be fun if we had a little Nora concert little on here, Nora? <laughs> Everybody's got some kind of a musical talent. Come on and let's just have our little Christmas party together on Zoom. That would be fun. All that wood. She's at a candlelight ladies Advent service tonight. So, but, oh, candlelight. That sounds neat. This Advent, like, when's Advent officially? I mean, it's the whole season of Advent, but don't Advent calendars start like soon or start? Does it start on the first? I don't know. Get your orders in for the month. I still haven't drawn for October winners, so I'm just going to draw for October and November. And if you win twice, I'll send one big present your way. So thanks, you guys. We're having a good month. And um, uh, I just wish you all the very best. So keep selling. Be a blessing. Bye. At the end of November. Love you guys. Thanks for being Bye. here. Bye. Good night.